This is a student project. It's called Tex Mex. The name is funny. Therefore, I will play it. Since it is a student project, I will be grading it on a scale of F to A. We'll see if they pass my class. Welcome to Texas. Use Waza to move, okay? A little bit of a... A little bit of a eye-destroying art style so far. Use mouse to look. That's a gamer mouse. Oh my god. They got a gamer mouse on their UI. Follow the waypoints. Oh god, I boosted. I shouldn't have boosted. Can I get up? Do I have a jump? Is there a jump button? I boosted off the cliff by accident. Can I hide in the bush? Alright, controls. Confirm. Left shoot. Charge. Move. Stomp. Pause. Swap. No, okay. Well, I'm gonna go back up. No jumping. Super dash. Look out, the hated foe. Got him. Oh, the robot has giant revolvers? That's fun. Use gun to shoot. Die, robots. Is there infinite ammo? Apparently not. The ammo is not infinite. Stomp him. Ooh, the stomp's good. Taste the wrath of Texas. Yeehaw! Again, Tex-Mex is a good name for a game. The the Tex-Mex alone gets him at least a C on their project. We're, we're at like C minus right now. We'll see if there's a cool boss fight. Honestly, maybe, maybe it should be the D plus because of the graphic style. It's kind of horrible. It's kind of really bad. Now, we'll, we'll, we'll stick to C minus right now. Protocol one, protect the partner. Wait, stomp. Stomp it down. I mean, C is passing. Don't mex with Texas. There you go. That might have been a name they were uh, thinking of doing, but they didn't because it's not quite as good. Can I not open this? All more guns. New weapon. What kind of a gun are you? A oh, flamethrower? Eh, it's okay. I'm gonna have the flamethrower and the pistol. Okay. Now we're yeehaw. Get yeehawed. Oh, you're friendly. Get yeehawed. Taste the wrath. I don't know, Dutch. We got giant scorpions, Dutch. Arthur, you have to use a mech suit to defeat the scorpions. I don't know. I don't think we have mecha suits, Dutch. I think all we have is a revolver, Dutch. No, Arthur. The mech can use the revolver. Haven't you played the game before? Definitely needs AI Dutch Vander on voice in this. That would help. A me a, me a, me a, me a, me a me soldier, a mech soldier, a, a mech soldier. How do I open these? Scan maybe. Scan. Interact is E. Stop is Q. So it would be one or the other. Oh, it's just a health kit. Okay, and it's full health. That explains it. Off to the canyon we go. The canyon where the flaming barrel is. Welcome to Flaming Barrel Gorge, partner. This is where many of the scorpion rivals are. They've done enough to mess with our dig site. They conquered our cactus. Now we're gonna conquer them. I don't know what those little purple guys are. They blow up though, which is nice. Activate the generator. 
Oh, defend it. Uh oh. Is this a generating some interest? Generating interest in game companies to hire these students? They can go on to work on great games. Give them a job. Someone's gotta play test the new COD Battle Pass. All right, the path is clear. We leave Flame and Barrel Gorge behind and we move on to, oh my God, Ambush. Ambush Valley. Oh, gas and go to the gas station. Oh no, they took over my gas station. They done took over my fuel depot. I gotta get me a large Coke Slurpee after all this battle is done. Pick up my combine launcher. Yeehaw. Oh, this guy has his ammo sphere. Okay, the combine launcher is very strong. Quite a powerful weapon. Look, Mom, I'm a throwbot. It's me, Slizers. Any game that invokes Slizers is a good game. I'm, I'm moving into B. We're going B. We're at B minus. They got throwbots. We're watching Throwbot Gaming. This is the best gun. This I have 120 of these shots. I mean, the other guns are just never gonna get used ever now. Hunt down the nest, die nest. Feel the wrath of Toa Vakama. I will stop the more Boozak. Oh, my health is going down a little bit. Where is the radio tower? Do I see it? I see a glowing, oh, I gotta kill the nest still. Okay, we're still killing nests. I didn't kill them on the way here. Out of the way, scorpions. Maybe, hang on, do I have the, the volume too low? I feel like the mech should be making a stomping sound. Can we get some stomping going? Let's turn the music a little bit down. The music's a little bit much. But keep the, keep the mech volume up. Okay, yeah, there is, there is a stomping sound. I just couldn't hear it <laughs> because of the MIDI guitar. MIDI guitar, play it again. Tex-Mex. All right, now that door's open, right? Yeah. Yeehaw, partner. Yeehaw, partner. Yeehaw, partners. Here we are, the dig site. Get a job in the industry and immediately get laid off. Mm -hmm. Are you looking to get laid off immediately? The games industry may be the industry for you. Unfortunately. Oh God. It's suicide fields. Not a great place to hang out. I do love the waypoints. I love a good waypoint gaming. Ultimate boost. Ultimate boost. Not really sure the difference between the red guys and the yellow guys. I feel like the red guys and the yellow guys are the same. They probably have some difference, but their design is like the same guy. So, okay, here's the tower. This is where all this madness started. My final battle. The great onslaught begins. It needs a yee-haw voice actor. Definitely needs a guy going like, yee-haw. 
They gotta have that. Are you safe, Radio Tower? Do I gotta hit E on Radio Tower? Oh, I got this generator. Once the radio's back up, we can, uh... Listen. <laughs> we can listen to some tunes. We can listen to bow, 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 bow. I got my truck. Bow, 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 bow. I got my beer. Bow, 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 bow. I got my truck. Bow, bow, bow. I'm driving here. Bow, bow, bow. So many guys. Maybe the yellow... Oh, they're the goo guys. Okay, they spit. I've been killing them so fast they haven't had a chance to use their Xamors here. Come on, tower. Generate faster. Come on, Comcast. You got saw bladed. More Boozak is being successfully halted. Is it done yet? I did it. And now that one red band went out. Oh, I, I thought it was going to make them run away. I didn't know it was going to summon the queen. It's not good. That's not what we want. I was hoping that it would keep them away from my farm. Well, here we go. To be continued. Why well, don't we even fight Queen Knifty? What? You have Queen Knifty in the game and you don't fight Queen Knifty? And it's never going to be continued. Get real. It's never going to be continued. Okay, I give it a... I, I give it a C plus slash B minus. It works. You know, it's a it's a functioning game. It's just those graphics. Oh, man. It was not... They were brutal. Here's another project from the same school. As you can see, they have very similar UI. The UI in this one is better. I am biased, though, because it looks like Dishonored. So looking like Dishonored means that your game is good. I wonder if the professor at this university really likes Dishonored. Press Wazda to move. All right. Fair enough. What? I missed that one. Press tab for your objective. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm pressing tab. Does it mean the other tab? I'm pressing tab. I don't know what it wants me to do. Does it like run to the next tutorial pop up probably? Yeah, press space to jump. There we go. Oop. Got to put these student projects on the Caffey Man rating chart. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the the robot text message. I'll give it a C plus. The final grade is C plus. Jump pads can help you jump. All right, this has jump pads. That's pretty good. Oh, they got the guy. Die. I feel my crystals. Crystal blast. Did he die? Yeah, he died. He turned into Sokolov's Piero Spiritual Remedy. Use gravity to pick up and throw objects. Ooh, okay. Good game. I gotta kill a guy with this, right? Eh. I missed. It said 20. I think I did 20 damage, actually. Combine jump and dash to clear a large gap. Ooh! The robot game had a dash, too. Maybe dash is built in. Add barrels. Can I throw guys? What did we ever throw at these guys? Can I hold a box in front of me to block bullets? That'd be good. That'd be the mechanic of all time. Magic power. Magic power. Barrel blast. Okay, fine. Magic power. 
Magic. Power. The magic power kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie, it kind of sucks. Although I do have other ones. Let's try lightning. Okay. And fire. Fire is the best one. Okay, we're going fire. Over here, I guess. Fire blast. Oh. Fire blast. I got him. Complete. All right. Welcome to the courtyard. Clear all enemies. We got drones. I missed. Maybe lightning for the robot, right? Somehow Palpatine returned. Those are fast guys. What the heck? They got the automaton? Be gone. These guys have speed. I can throw the drone at him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did the automatons turn into guys? Were the automatons a guy the whole time? Plot twist. Now, it looks like they're all... <laughs> they all want to stand on this one spot, and the lightning AoE is here. So the whole arena will just die. If they keep coming up here. That's one way to clear the enemies. Fire blast. Use my dash, yeah, dash. Barrel blast. The barrel is the best feature. The magic is kinda eh. The barrel is fun though. Can I have the trash can? Nope. Schedule. Oh, no one's scheduled. Wait, they are scheduled. Oh, their font is scheduled. Oh, God. They got a font instead of a handwritten note. Oh, this guy. They got Dark Trooper. This guy's trying to kidnap Baby Yoda. Oh, he can taste his own move. He's got moves. Oh, crap. Spell duel. Immortals of... Avium. Got him. Or did I? Immortals of Avium. There we go. Barely a scratch. Zap him. You've been zapped. And now I can go to the clock tower. The drone, I guess the drone is out of enemy. As I said, kill all enemies with the drones are still alive and kicking. Reach the docks. All right. Are you the path to docks? What the? I got an orb. Why did I get an orb? Oh, does each magic school have an alternate move? No, just that it's always orb. Okay. It looks like right click is always black hole. Can I cast them both at the same time for like the ultimate move? Super Blast. Yeah. Look at those particle effects go. I think Black Hole is just the best move ever, unless they don't die. Yeah, they didn't die. It just knocked them down. Knock down, drag out. Eh. Eh. The movement. Movement is back. <laughs> this guy's really milking the cow. Interesting walk cycle. Charge blast. I'm out of juice. Had to use snow. Taste the power of being cold. Prepare to be mildly uncomfortable. Hope you brought winter gear. Get burned. Get incinerated. 
Tasty health. Ultimate slam. Black hole sun. There is double jump, that's good. Dishonored has that too. Dishonored vibes. If you give me dishonored vibes, that is good. Part, part of the strategy of being in school is to appeal to the teacher's biases. You just gotta listen to the professor's lecture then tell them what they wanna hear. That is part of it, and since I'm the professor of this school, and I like Dishonored, if you make your game look like Dishonored, it does help. Eh. The sound effect comes after the, like, it should have a, when, when your hand, like, shoots forward, it should have a sound. The sound only plays after the lightning spawns. Like, it should be like a zzz from your hand. That would help. University of Oboe, yeah, Oboe U. Learn how to make those things games. Welcome to those dot 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 games 101. I'm your professor. Uh, please just make it to clone of Dishonored using our asset pack. That's pretty much all I gotta do. But professor, isn't Arcane Studios going out of business soon? Yeah, probably. So where are we gonna work at if all we know how to make is Dishonored? I don't know. I just want you guys to make Dishonored for me. More new students. Lapdog for the professor. Anton Sokolov made this game. How many more guys we got? I'm kind of bored of fighting guys. There was an airship on the Steam page. I want to see the airship. Show me the airship level. If the airship level is good, all will be forgiven. Eh. I should be utilizing the force more. Yeah, get blobbed. You just got blobbed. You'll be learning joke writing from Twitch chat. Yeah, I have my Twitch chat loaded up. Just to tell some jokes, and Twitch chat will attempt to improve them. This is our online curriculum. Show me airship on the board. All right, enemies are dead now, right? They're vanquished. Oh yeah, here it comes. Hard to starboard. Airship, I love you. You're my favorite. You do slow the frame rate significantly, but I do love you still. I forgive you. The great battle of the sky. Eliminate the crew. Can I, if I can fly the airship, I don't see a steering wheel. I'm not seeing a method of piloting the airship. I want to pilot the airship to other airships and fight them. That's the ultimate gamer fantasy. Hopefully the airship doesn't burn down. Yeah, the airship got a lot more detailed. Oh, activate the lever. Does the lever fly it? Oh, it automatically does. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'll accept it. They got jumping from airship to airship combat. That's a good feature. That's a feature I crave. The one thing Dishonored did not have is an airship level. That would have been really cool. Eh. Anton Sokolov made this airship. And this is the pipes airship. This is where they transport their giant stack of ladder into pipes. I claim this airship in the name of the Robot Hand Society. No longer does it belong to the ooh, 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 infantry. Ultimate zap. Jump pad 360. Boom. Eh. 
Did I win? Is it mine now? Do I shut down these red things? They have arrows on them. Yeah, they got health. If I kill the generator, the airship will plummet to the ground below. Get off the ship. Yeah, you're telling me. This thing's gonna get exploded. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Move on to the next ship. This is good. This is a good scenario. This is always a good scenario in every game, but like four games total have this scenario. I don't know why. That game I just played like a few days ago, Zofia had this scenario and it was great. Give me airship combat. Hmm, N2. Die, take that bow and stern. This is the crew expendable airship, of course. Last call. I'm getting Order 1886 vibes from this. Uh, it's actually an F, you're getting an F in my class. But you said make it like Dishonored. Yeah, I said make it like Dishonored, but Dishonored did not have an airship, the Order did. So unfortunately, I am gonna have to go ahead and fail you and your tuition will not be refunded. Thank you for playing. <laughs> try, try a new game. Try restarting. Wait, this ship's gonna blow up, right? Yeah, crap. I killed the generators on the port and starboard or whatever. I forgot to leave. I was too busy fighting the guys and making fun of the Order 1886, which is really fun. Maybe the most fun thing about this game is making fun of the Order 1886. It's pretty good. Okay, I got damage over time. Duh -duh. This game is better than the Order? I agree, it's true. All right, it's going down. Your ship got vanquished. All right, last ship. Let's move on. I want a cannon. Can I have a cannon? Blast them. Whoever's driving this does a really good job. They keep him perfectly next to another ship. That's crazy. Are you something or just like random rubble? Probably just rubble, yeah. Destroy the engines. Die, Bow and Stern. You're listening to the Bow and Stern show. And the ship's toast. The ship's history. Sorry, crew. Your once mighty vessel has been blowed up. Bye bye. And now I sail on into the sunset and celebrate my victory, right? Celebrate my grand victory over the airships of evil. Complete. There's more? Okay, good. I was gonna say, I'll, I'll go back to Dunwall, but you're not gonna be able to top the airship level. Okay, that's a that's a B plus game right there. The only downside is that it reminded me of the Order 1886 a little bit, but other than that, good job. It did look like Dishonored, which is the reason that I liked it probably, but you know what? I like Dishonored. And another game from the SMU Guild Hall, it's Agrios Recovering Eden. Will this game get a passing time. grade? Long Humans before my time, humans lived on Terra. Terra. It was our home base. It sustained us for thousands of years until our system began to fail. Mm. We couldn't survive any longer there and needed to find a new home. So we found a sci-fi hallway. Humans piled onto generational ships. We sent AIs to find planets suitable for organic life and prepared them for our arrival. But what we didn't expect. Some of the colonies they built flourished for a time, but they fell apart before we arrived. I'm gonna explore that colony. Recently, and fight a robot. We found something. It already had an atmosphere. 
We just needed to start building. For that, we need to recover the core artifacts from each failed colony and put them to better use. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm here, on Axonim. Its core was a powerful agricultural starter known as the Branch of Eden. Mm -hmm. right, the intro kind of sucks. And obtaining it will guarantee the success of our food production. End. End right now. If we can it's still going. Branch, okay. Then we can finally build a new Terra. All right, get the branch, gotcha. I'm a neglected official. All right, here's the game. <laughs> All right, here we go. Whoa, Welcome holy crap. Colony, oh, God. You're in the antechamber of the Acrios facility. Who is this guy? It should be a few Shut up. Before you <laughs> Stop talking. Chamber with the branch of Eden. Oh, no. Thanks, Moss. I'll start uh, looking around. Oh, man, I don't like Moss. I'm not a Moss fan. I'm sorry, Moss. Fire a disruptor. Yeah. Keep moving. Go to the sphincter door and fight the robot. Do I have a charge shot? Scatter shot. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, hover boots? Okay. Hover nozzle. Hey, Mario. Isn't this an old fashioned data core? Yeah, yeah right. that's where the top level pool confirms that Axidum was an extremely successful agriculture. Goods for about four and a half terracycles <laughs> before. Yeah, before it got blown up. Whoops. Celestial navigation system is missing. Weird. He sounds like a Borderlands 3 character. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. He sounds like Vaughn from Borderlands 3. Bandit life. Press E to scan enemies. Moss, all the doors just locked. Ah, shoot. Yeah, I can't unlock them until all the AI have been deactivated. Those aren't AI, they're robots. You wouldn't call a robot an AI. These aren't chat GPTs. These aren't large language learning models. These robots aren't stealing from DeviantArt. What kind of a bullet hell have I got myself into? All oh, hell, here we bullet again. Where's my health bar? Oh, there it is. I'm pretty healthy, I'm doing good. All right, Moss, get that door. Nice, I can open the door now. Just head on through. There won't be any more robots, will there? Not uh, yeah, totally. Search the dictionary definition of badass. It redirects you. Oh my life. God. Bold of you to say that to this a man is brutal. Who is on his computer at this, this is brutal. Moment. Wait, it actually does. How did you get it to redirect that file? Oh God. They these they could work at Gearbox. Gearbox will hire you immediately if you make this game. Whoever, whoever made this is probably working at Gearbox as we speak. Die, AI. Take that. Hydrophobia prophecy type writing. Mm -hmm. They should make a hydrophobia too. Well, hydrophobia prophecy, that was like chapter one of hydrophobia. And they were going to make more. And they didn't make more. So they, they, they can buy the hydrophobia IP for like $5 and revive it. <laughs> the evil chef's story must be told. Disruptor. Is that my normal gun? Oh, it's that one. That gun sucks. Yeah, it's kind of a big blast, but you know. Kind of not that good. The scatter shot seems like the best one. Come on, Moss. One more Moss of Dialogue. That's the reward for this game. The reward for each level clear is more Moss Dialogue. It's so bad, I can't wait to hear more of it. I'm not even joking. I want to hear all Moss's hilarious voice lines. Alright, Moss. Hit me with it. Nope, more robots. 
Yeah, Obo University can only be paid for with student loans. You had to get out of student loan. That's the rules. Die, corrosion car. All right, Moss, hit me. Hit me with that comedy. Let's hear it. Moss, are you okay? I hope Moss didn't die from the AIs. That would suck. He's my favorite character. Oh, great. Here we go again. Hey, Moss. Can you scan this data core? According to this, there was some massive interference that blocked communications between Axonom and its satellites a few years into its colonization. Probably an asteroid storm. Oh. That's it? No funny remark? Come on, asteroid ass is right there. You could have made a hilarious joke. An asteroid storm, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> Classic moss. That's moss for you. Missed opportunity by moss there. I gotta, I gotta deduct a letter grade for that one. This room's getting hectic. What the, they got the machine gun man? They got rapid fire. This calls for the carbine. Moss is growing on me, he is. I started off hating him, two voice lines later, he's my favorite character. I love Moss, what can I say? Why is his name Moss? That's a hilarious name for a guy. Is that like his birth name? Do you think the humans named themselves after like plants from Earth because they miss Earth? Or is like his cool code word hacker name that he chose is Moss? It should be M-O-5-5. What are the lore implications of Moss's name? Die. That guy has more health than anticipated. All right, Moss. I killed the whole room for you. What do you got for me? Give me more data cores. There we go. facility was purposely overgrown. Once you're out of the weeds, you should be able to reach the branch of Eden. Oh. Cutscene. Just a JPEG of the Mass Effect 1 hacking minigame. Okay. The barrel did not explode. Whoa. This place is massive. According to the logs, this central tower connected all the green. Tell a joke. The branch of Eden. More jokes. Close. Dude, the jokes have stopped. He's just describing stuff now. This is worse than the time I was in the greenhouse in Dead Space. Tell some jokes, Moss. He's getting serious. He he was reprimanded by his mission commander. Cut the chatter. Get set up for your attack run. Boost me. Woo! I love boosting. This probably has the best, like, core combat out of all the student projects I've played. It's better than Tex-Mex, and it's better than the fake Dishonored. It's just, like, a 3D bullet hell. So. Kind of reminds me of Drunken Robot Pornography, that game. Ever seen that game? That game's more you fight one guy, though. This game is you fight like a million guys. And they all shoot balls. That's more of a genre? No, I guarantee you it's a game. Classic Game Room has reviewed that game, actually. I found that game from the Classic Game Room review. I was like, what the heck is this? I would not be surprised if Moss's last name was Isley. Oh, that'd be wonderful. This would get an A plus if his name is literally Moss Isley. The name's Tina, Hand Tina. Looks like a Halo 4 Forerunner, kind of like that. Use my boost. I never knew there were so many species of plants. I wish I could see them for myself. There was one. There was a vine. 
<laughs> there was a vine on the generator. Wow, they got a vine in here? This place is crazy. This place is nuts. We don't have plants back on Moss Island. Oh, here's a plant. I got a whole column. Okay. Go some designs. Be gone, corrosion turret. Can I grow you in here, Moss? That'd be good too. A lot of good comedy ideas. This is this is why Twitch Chat teaches the uh, the writing class. This is why Twitch Chat does the writing seminar. Can I hide from me? I have an arm gun. I'm armed and dangerous. Like fair subscribe if you want to play Armed and Dangerous from like 2004. Come on, Moss, give me some dialogue. I need more Moss dialogue. The Moss dialogue was so promising at the beginning, but now he stopped talking. Now he's like, I wish I could see a tree. I really wish I could see a tree. One class is literally complaining about Mass Effect. Yeah, welcome to complaining about Mass Effect 101, where I will tell you how Mass Effect should have gone, and then you will agree with me. Actually, I kind of like the story of two. You get out, you fail. You fail my class. No, but the loyalty questers get out. Be on. I keep forgetting I have a boost. That must have been one of their main production plants. You could say it was one hey. of the main plant. plant. There's moss. moss. There's the moss I love. There's the moss I know and love. Yeah, moss is back. Moss is back in Call of Duty. <laughs> We're so back. Let's go. Dude, moss is a classic guy. I love moss. What a great character. That wasn't even a good one either. <laughs> there, was, there was many different directions to get taken that, and it's one of the worst one ever. It was really bad. Oh man, we're getting bullet held now. I'm gonna have to utilize my dash. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool battle. Nothing that strafing slowly to the left in a circle can't solve, but you know. Looks neat. Has Dolman vibes? It kind of does have Dolman vibes. I wonder if Moss works for the corporation secretly. The corporation does not care about the miners' problems. Important lore of Dolman, don't forget. I like her little scarf she has. That's fun. I installed Cloaks of Skyrim. What's the Oboe University School mascot? Huh. I don't know why the little, literally the first thing I thought was a tube of toothpaste that says Oboe on it. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why it'd be a tube of toothpaste. But I guess the math is it's Toothy the Toothpaste. Look, there he is. And, and he, he can be like, oh, is this your first year at Obo University? Yeah. Oh, so you're a fresh mint? Haha, <laughs> toothpaste jokes. I'm a regular moss already. Seagird? Yeah, Seagird'd be good. He'd be a good mascot. Was one of the... Is one of the uh, mascots for Strong Bad's thing a toothpaste? One of them is a tire. One of them is a takeout box that says Ryan S. What's the third one? Name. Oh, yeah, stop Not sign. Very homey. Fun fact it's a portmanteau of Xenos, which means strange and asylum, like a foreign sanctuary for humanity. 
That wasn't very funny, Moss. Not very funny, Moss. I'm not laughing. If he doesn't fulfill his comedy quota, I'm gonna boot him from the team. The CGNU dumples. Yeah, dumples. What if it's a tuba? Toothpaste is holding a tuba. It could be a tuba tube of toothpaste. A tube of... No, it's, it's gotta be toothpaste that's like tuba flavored. It's gotta be toothpaste where like when you open the lid, it plays a MIDI file of like a tuba. So then it can be the tuba tuba toothpaste. Tuba tuba toothpaste, tuba tuba toothpaste, tuba tuba toothpaste, tuba tuba toothpaste, Perry. Ah, Perry the toothpaste. All right, come on, Moss. Give me some funnies, Moss. So many robots. Got too many robots here. They really don't want AI to have the Eden key or whatever it is. Eden belongs to humanity. We got all humanity to agree that we're gonna call our new spaceship Eden. Maybe in other languages and cultures it's called something different. We got everybody to agree. Now listen guys, we need, we need a name for universal humanity. Uh, what about like a biblical allegory? That is pretty popular, right? I don't know, like a, like 20% maybe of humanity maybe would like that. I mean, we're, we're gonna build it, so. We're building it, so we're gonna name it. It seems like every sci-fi concept that has the name Eden never works out though, so maybe don't call it Eden. It's like if it, it's like the ultimate hubris. The ultimate hubris is naming your thing Eden in a sci-fi world. It's almost as bad as the elusive man. We have a new Welcome to complaining about Mass Effect class. We have a new technology to bring people back to life after they die. We will call it the Lazarus Project. Are you sure, elusive man? Are you sure we shouldn't think for like three seconds? Maybe go with not our first idea on that. Nope, it's settled. The Lazarus Project it is. Make it happen, Miranda. Almost like Eden is a metaphor or something, I know. People are like, we're gonna call this the new Garden of Eden. Uh, guys, you know what happened to that place, right? Careful, it's probably protected. Summer Ridge of Eden. Uh-oh, it's the name of the game on the screen. Here we go. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's a it's a turret. Oh, look out, it's GLaDOS. It's a GLaDOS turret. Use the big blast. Where's the big blast? Yeah. The big blast takes too long to recharge. Give me my branch. Oh, the, the AI should have been like an evil GLaDOS AI that argues with Moss. Every time Moss makes a joke, Agrios goes, I will never allow you to have the branch because your jokes were trash. Okay, Agrios has a shield. I'm gonna guess that killing the minions will reduce the shield. That's how these things usually work. Dash move. Thanks for the turn speed, it's pretty low, yeah. GLaDOS can't really move around very fast in this one. Oh, I gotta kill this. Who would've thought the objective marker would lead to success? Not me. Raiders, the shield is down. Oh wow, it came back up really fast. Kill the green tube. I gotta get the branch of Eden for Moss. This is worse than the time I was in Control Core Angel. Remember to wear your shield, Roland, to my right? I wonder if in the movie they'll make a joke about Roland having a shield. I hope so. That'd be really funny. One for the fans. 
Die, Agrios. Come on, so close. I did it. The branch is mine, Moss. We did it. We saved the humans. It's fading very slowly. Am I dying? I you did good. Know. Just I step into the light. I never doubted you for a second. Hang tight while I get a shuttle over to you. Well done, Nizia. Thanks, Moss. All right, we'll watch the credits and see if Moss's full name was Moss Isley. Let's see. Come on, we're here for Moss. Here we go, voice actor. Nope, just Moss, dang it. Stuart Beebe, though. Stuart Beebe was involved. Good job, Stuart. Okay, Agrios, this is an A+. This is just good. Moss is one of the funniest characters I've seen in gaming. He's great.